Didn't know I already had a tent there. Hunters loved the glass terrain with binoculars, but if come on every single time, cover, tracking's the way to go. Just make sure you keep your bearings. Awesome, dude. Thank you, man. How you doing today, Peyton? Star goal ends tomorrow. We gotta reach it tonight, boys. Gotta reach that star goal so I can keep getting paid by Facebook. Hopefully, I can get me a big diamond or a great one tonight and do some missions while I'm doing it. The mission I'm going to is right on the other side of the big gold. Big old gold right there.
Oh, well, since it's still, I guess, they're still wanting to be there. Actually, they're traveling to their feed zones right now, probably. Be nice to know where they're at. Uh -oh. What's up, Cody? How you doing, man? No softball tonight, so I decided to get on. So they went to their feed zone, so... Nothing, ma'am. Just trying to rest so perfect. Where the boys at? There they are. Cody, thanks for the share as well. Travis, thanks for the like, man. How you doing tonight? Starting off good. Here we got me one gold. Why are you nervous? Three for three, boys. Let's head over to this lake where this mission's at and maybe catch some Turks, some pheasants with a 12 gauge. I figure we do some more missions and more uh, white tail setup. I got 110 on me. I should have bought some more, but. Figured there was no rush. How's your day, Cody? Peckery, that's my first. Is it a skunk? Well, neither, actually. Avalinos. It is tasty, at least in my estimation. Just make sure you don't burst the scent gland. Nice little silver here. This one I think is gonna be gold. Just barely. We got three on the night. Need to keep up to that. I haven't been keeping up with that lately. Let's get some light hashtag or uh, exclamation point lights go in the chat. Dang, that sucks. Let's go. There we go. Dan with the 1K stars with the jump scare. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Get them stars rolling. Let's get a star party. My first bunny rabbit. I haven't shot an antelope yet. <sighs> that woke me up, Dan. Thank you.
You're saying there's a predator here? Again, her. Keep heading down to this mission. Dan, I thought you were sleeping the night. Dan with a like. How's your day been, Dan? <laughs> we'll just chill here for a little bit and then go to bed. Had a long week of work. my water up real soon. quick that's one thing I wish this game could work on I know it's hard to do I wish the render distance So the deer are in rest zone, so gotta be careful walking through <clears throat> this stuff. Arrow and watch out for cactuses. Haven't got me a pecker yet or a javelina. There we go, but I think I got too big of a gun. Have you got a shipping confirmation on that one sticker, Dan, for Cody? I haven't checked my email on my hat. They're level 4 animals, so I can take it with 308. So really, that was just, that was it? Just traveling calmly and...
He clipped it. He liked it. I'm thinking about getting rid of the Minecraft ones and trying to do something else that's not as jumpy as that or the air horn. Just slowly go up. Creeper one, it still gets me every once in a while. But. Oh, that's decent cash. Alex with a like and Alex with a share. What's up, man? I definitely need to do some more animal sounds. Going right to where I need to go, thank you. I didn't prove my pain. Big guy go, 100 trophy. Awesome, Ox. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Well, while we're here, should be able to go ahead. Oh man, what was that? <laughs> I did change one. I did add one. <laughs> mm. That's awesome. Dan, thank you for the 100 stars, man. Oh. Uh, there you go back. Man, that was awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm.
There we go. You should have it there, Alex. Messed up my knock spot. All right, we're back up and running. <laughs> I thought people would like that. Cheap and funny. You kidding me? Little fucking Avelina hurt me. Oh, damn. Again, thanks for 100 stars, man. Sorry, Javelinas. I'm down here doing a mission now. In the middle of a gorge, pretty much. I think uh, we got a glitch here. All through this gorge. should be a pile of rocks there. Line up the gabions first, then fill them. They're conspicuous enough, no? No? Well, the important thing is that they work. Cram as many as you can into each of them. That will set us up nicely for winter. It's gonna take some time to see the effect of all this, but it's good work you're doing. Believe me, I'm grateful for the extra set of hands. I have one final task for you before you are free to go off on your own. Most of our outposts are former stockmen's residences. Gives them a bit of rustic charm, you know? Back in the old days, entire families worked the land here. Men, women, and children. We still had a couple of people on staff when I was born. But then beef prices tanked and my parents couldn't afford the expense anymore. Us kids had to pick up the slack. Anyway, there's a stockman's residence kind of in the middle of nowhere, even by the standards of this place, that had fallen into disuse. We've given it a paint job and replaced some of the furniture. Now all that's needed to officially establish it as an outpost is a notice board. Head over and set it up. Oh, so how's everybody's day? Everybody have a good day? Besides staying? Move that thing closer. I forgot to sleep. Well, sometimes the long days are the bad days. Oh, that sucks. I'm glad your medicine working, though. So yeah, we're going to go down here. 
We're going to see if we can find some more whitetails out. And then shoot here and then run to that mission. Don't, do you not like them? Is this even a white tail here? We'll give this some time to spawn in and walk around the lake. Get everything going. Yeah, I can see how they can get a little worn out. My day was boring as all get out. I had all my runs done for the week. Did it on purpose to maybe get out of get out a little early today. Set up some YouTube stuff. But got to work. We had to load a little truck to go to Texas today and we waited all day for other people to get their job done. So we can load it up to go to Texas. Put those uh, put those in the mod chat. And, uh, make sure you add Alex to the mod chat. Alex, uh, if you uh, back out of the stream and check your notifications, you have an invite to be moderator. I wish there was a way to do like a schedule in the group chat or something or a to-do list or something. Keep me reminded of all the shit I need to do. I uh, wish there was a way to uh, um, somehow one of you can actually can control the stream and stuff too without being here. I think that'd be pretty nice if uh, the wheeze or the grunt. Hopefully I have to find a find a soundboard online that has that. I found a couple with like animal noises. But they're like super duper long. Dude, you're the man. Don't worry about it. 
You're, you're the group expert. You're the first person to get the group expert tag in the group, I believe, anyway. So, you do. You supported me since I don't know how long, and you've come all the time. You, Cody, and Dan. You guys are the glue. The only other moderator is my uh, little cousin, Peyton. And he's been here since I started three, four years ago, however long it is. I'm not 100%. Well, it doesn't look like there's actually deer here. It says it's a white tail zone. That was back when I was uh, a blackout cod god, winning solos or winning quads solely. Emotional damage. <sighs> I even turned the volume down on that. Maybe I should put that as a jump scare, not just the uh, exclamation point. Maybe that's what's the old Call of Duty one. Death comms. I don't think a deer could have a death comm, but try. Alright, looks like we're headed to the, to the mission right now. Hopefully I don't hit no trees. I'm going to see if I can find those sounds. So we're looking for a deer, please. See how long they are? I might just have to change some stuff around. I don't know if that's even the biggest one, but we're going to kill it. We're gonna kill it. Oh, you're just like scared. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it, boys. We'll shoot some javelina. Thought that was a good shot.
I'm getting the javelina or take me to my mission. Come on, copper. Okay, copper, you can just go towards it. You have to wait on me, man. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, just ran this way a little bit further. Oh, you're good, man. That's a nugget shot. So high. And too much at an angle. I wonder if we should go back to that lake. After we get done with this. <laughs> what am I doing with this? Painting it? There's the notice board. Grab that shovel too. Hey, let me claim it first. And another one. And, and another, another one. one. And, and another, another one. one. And another one. I want to use that when I'm killing deer. Dude, we play darts? Bet you're glad you're not doing this in July. Oh. What's that? <laughs> Got him. Is that some sort of save for a log book? Let, let me see. Lock and handle a keyhole. This is not new. Eh? Could be early 20th century. I feel like I recognize it from somewhere. I have got it. There used to be a log box like this in the Casa Grande's master bedroom. Oh, I can't even work. work. Snooping around, but this feels important. Can you head back over there and see if you can find the key? You said Just I was done. You're up for it, of course. <laughs> this isn't part of your job description. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Finish up here first. What'd you guys? Did I miss something? Hey, you rolled my baseball number when I was playing. Looks good. And feel free to use this outpost yourself now. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry up. If you're in the neighborhood, I'd appreciate it if you could swing by the Casa Grande. I guess my curiosity's got the better of me. Well, I guess we can go back to Hacienda. Oh. Is it ethical? <coughs> Does it go all the way down to fours?
Where's the damn stairs? Did I walk past them? Yeah, but where are the damn stairs? Oh, walked right past them. Come on. So, let's try to solve this ourselves. Yes. Let me think. I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but maybe we should check it for clues. R.S. Bosque Alto, Agosto de 1916. R.S. Bosque Alto, August 1916. Bosque Alto is a site to the east of here, the woods up in the hills, but the initials... I'm stumped. How about you leave the gun here for now and I'll have someone from the lab we usually work with for animal samples check the blood. I really doubt there's any intact DNA left. All right, Dan, talk to you tomorrow, man. I got my son's uh, karate class in the morning. I'll keep you up to date. So then after that, I'll probably hop on or... I'm not aware of any buildings up around Bosque Alto. Or at least, not any intact ones. Good thing I, I know someone who's entitled said to all be involved. Should I only had one well, more thing to do when I went and did the rocks. Don't worry about anything running off on you. I'll mark the rough location on your hunter rate, and you can put those transferable skills to the test. Right here. Don't worry, it's Chances are we won't find anything, but I won't rest easy until we've at least checked. Easy. Find a lake. Find Shack. some high ground and do some scouting. Okay. It's right where I know where it's at. I kill deer by it all the time. See? There. this mission I'm gonna reset the map well Dan I hope you do get some sleep hiding in the woods now I mean, the stain is good, but the deer are always in the tree. So I guess I could get a collar and call them. Never have luck with a collar.
copper I can see. We say folded them here. I need to find a folded them or folded down for an exclamation point. Everybody says dirt map. Cause he folded up like a lawn chair. <laughs> it's just like Wanch says that. I guess I wasn't wrong about there not being any. Grizzly says that. Here. Are you able to get inside? Be careful. Even some of the YouTube guys say dirt nap. Must have rested here at some stage, but there's nothing to suggest they bunkered down. Try the desk there. Nita, what a thing to find out in the middle of nowhere. Desk. I'm amazed it's not completely faded. No desk here. So, I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Bisabuelo Javier. Even without the head, the suit's a dead giveaway. And his younger friend must be RRS. The date isn't too far off the one on the shotgun, at least. This is weirdly familiar. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Let's go back to the Casa Grande. There's a century's worth of old photos and newspaper clippings in Javier's study. Maybe we'll find something that jogs my memory. The landform looks like the one around where they used to water the cattle back when open grazing was still practiced. It's along the Arroyo, but I'm not sure where exactly, and I don't recognize the shrine. Take the photo with you, and we can try matching it to your surroundings. Yeah. So try to be, try to be a little original. I got a call from the lab while you were wandering around Bosque Alto. As I suspected, the blood samples didn't turn up any DNA. Ah, it was always going to be a long shot, if you'll forgive the pun. Anyway. I sent the shotgun itself to a gunsmith to retrofit and reassemble. I want you to have it. You didn't have to go out of your way to help solve this mystery that has nothing didn't to do me. with you. Why are they spooking so easy up. on this man? I know, I know. It's a bit macabre to use a dead man's weapon, but, uh... Look, we're conservationists. Ways not want not should guide us. I doubt R.S. would mind whoever he was. Unless you'd rather it ended up in a museum. <laughs> Didn't think Folded him. I've asked my cousin to leave it at an outpost. I'll mark on your hunter mate. I'm behind again. And another one. There's a couple more spots over this way that I have more zones, and then we'll go back to the casa. The one Hacienda, right? No, they almost here now. The thing we already unlocked it. And that lake does have deer, too. So what's the next map, guys?
What's the next map we use? This dog, damn dog, pushes me again. Joshua Carr, what's up, man? How you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Still fishing? Ow. 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 Only get one, at least. This is why I want a PC. This is why I want a piece. Rancho, Mississippi, Leighton Hirschfeld, and Fernando. <sighs> I'm thinking maybe Savannah. Nice, dude. I've never heard of that fish. Of course, of course, of course. Well, he's gonna die up there. Hopefully, like right there. Nope. We'll just give him one in the ass. Uh, I know what a sauger is. Okay. So this is number six. Nice. Very nice. And this dude's way up here. It's either between Savannah or Silver Ridge, so I think I'll go with Silver Ridge. Group expert. Could have been a silver, but oh well. I don't got my 243 with me, so I can't shoot.
Yeah, they were right out there last time. I'll just slog shot his ass and There you go, thank you. Now I'm just jumping everywhere. We don't need to get him. <laughs> That's what Facebook Facebook made you the group expert. Really, just does there? Or Udo? My last two zones, just Udo. It's just saying you're a group expert because you do a lot of sharing and commenting and stuff inside the group. And plus you shared your your carvings in there and stuff like that. So you've had like the most shares and most... Uh, uh, interaction on the group, so you are the group expert. <laughs> Ugh, cold chill and I'm hot. Hopefully I'm not getting my sinuses with allergies today were bugging the crap out of me. I hope it serves you better than it did RS. I've got some more news while I have your ear. Remember those gringo intruders I told you about? Well, my cousin's just texted me. She spotted their pickup truck again on her way home. Actually, not far from the outpost you're at now. But no sign of the intruders themselves. Well, it was right there. Yeah, it's still thing. there. Head out and jot down their license plate number. And if you do see them, probably best to just turn back. Who knows what they're packing? I really hope they at least turned off the engine when they went hunting in this thing. And that's the crappiest shooting range I've ever seen. Baden. Texas, Lone Star State. What does the plate say? <laughs> oh, God. I can feel your mood worsening from here. You've had more than a couple of run-ins with these guys before, no? I'd love to tell you I'd never heard of them, but... Their reputation extends to these parts, too. Yeah. Well, at least the place Sweating. makes them easily identifiable. So the, um, targets are all intact, which means one of two things. Either they're just terrible shots, or something else caught their attention. Spirit. <laughs> Let's remind them they're not alone out here, why don't we? Shoot down a couple of them. It's an excuse to try out that new shotgun if you have it on you. I'm shooting that shotgun. That's as gentle a warning as they're going to get out here in the borderlands. Get out of the way, Cobber. I didn't hit metal. Here we go. All right, man, Cody, you have a good night, man. I hope we see you tomorrow. Right, we're 
headed back up here. This is around where I think the area in the photo might be. It you might be because of my allergies. Here's the arroyo, or, well, what's left of it. It's dry almost year-round these days. Almost hard to imagine they used to be able to graze cattle here. Keep your eyes peeled for the shrine and the curve of the hill behind it. Let's try following it north. Where'd my thing go? I'm gonna go where this dot's at because that's where I believe the thing was at. Oh, here's a Don't have the heat on in the house. Might be right, Alex. We're at the halfway point on my stars go. Hopefully we can get that. That helps me buy stuff for gaming. I try not to use our personal money to buy gaming stuff. So like my last payday is how I've been getting my gaming stuff. New maps. Purchase my hat from the merch site with it. Buying new games. Looking at like a green screen thing that goes on the back of my uh, hair. Have like a green screen instead of have the box there. Taking up a tenth of the screen. Oh, is that in the codex? Where? Where is the photo? Oh, about the photo right here? Well, there's a lookout tower. So, assuming it's over here. I'm gonna go to this outpost. We'll go to that lookout. Email big, email uh, big blues, Joshua.
so we'll go to this outpost and then we'll be headed to that lookout where it looks like it's in the back background of that photo. Should be able to get this mission done real quick. Get a wheeler. Yeah, I like how these cactus hurt you, but the prickly pears on the ground don't. We had some prickly pears at my grandma's house that would tear you up. Actually, might be it over here. Got to check it out. Has anybody figured out the two clues? This looks familiar. The two clues on the what the new stuff's gonna be on the update in June. Okay, he's telling me this looks familiar. You want to say anything else? I saw, uh, it looks like it. Just from like, kind of like the background picture. But like there, there was a, there was a mission mark out there and then when the cut scheme ended, it was gone. I like the, I thought there's, she said there's going to be a little path like it was at the beginning, but I guess unless it connects to the road back there somehow and I just missed it. That hill. That's definitely it. One hundred years of dust storms and summer monsoons have changed Thanks, surprisingly man. little, I have to say. A ver, let's take a look around. Not superstitious, but this place is giving me an odd feeling. Not even with me. So how why? I like wearing a body cam that you can look through or something. I never understood how these people are talking to. frame doesn't look all that old let me try to translate uh, someone plunged a knife deep in my side did he know why i don't know why maybe he knew i never knew Ay, Dios. i recognize this let me think that novel about the revolution Los de abajo, the underdogs, it was Javier's favorite. This looks like it's been torn straight out of it. And the frame was probably placed here a lot more recently than the grave marker was erected. He wanted us to find this. Maybe there's a clue in the book itself. Let me guess, it's back at Hacienda. Go back here anyway. I like doing the missions. It 
breaks up the monotony of grinding and trying to get studies next to good the stuff. Thing. The furniture in there is uncovered. I was actually planning on moving most of it out to make it into a second guest bedroom. <laughs> Any day now. Well, it's probably for the best. Because this time you're definitely not going to be able to avoid rifling through things. Nah, Mom will forgive me. I hope. Uh, there's so many places to hide something. But take it one by one, and we'll see if anything jumps out. <laughs> I'm still amazed they got these plates over in one piece. Souvenir from my great grandparents' trip to Germany. <laughs> my bisabuela was a surprisingly mean shot. They shot him a little red deer. Trolls, they're a good deal less scary in miniature, no? A couple of family members were in New Zealand around the time they filmed the first movie. Bisabuelo Javier was a big travel buff. He, uh, he used to steal all the Okay, for another 40 minutes or so. He'd be like, it's covered by the room fee. <laughs> he was a good man. A bit eccentric, but uh, it was part of his charm. Oh, Soto. Come on. Okay, I'll, okay I'll, I'll go back to the codex. Not there. Soto del Bosque. Raul Soto. R.S. Javier's little brother. Of course. I should have known. I've heard the stories a million times. They never found his body. Raul was a bit of a hothead, if you believe the reputation he had. A young intellectual. You know the type. And Javier was the last person to see him alive. And did he go join the Villistas? Or maybe he had a target on his back. Us Sotos were a pretty influential family around. Forgot to record the stream. Javier and Raul had the download of all Facebook. Would have had the ear of the local cacique, the mayor in the pocket of the federal government. Favors for favors, you know. Oh, I know. But then everything was shook up. I 
heard that when they reported the disappearance, the police, or what was left of them around that time, practically laughed in their faces. They knew Raul better than his own family, said he was probably out fighting with some bandits. But then why would he leave his shotgun behind? And how did it end up in that log box six feet under the ground? It wasn't six feet under, it was on the surface with rocks over it. done with this mystery yet, but at least we know the major players now. Let's see if there are any clues in the book. Let's head back to the Casa Grande one last time. I think we're close to wrapping this up. We, what, why are we to head back? We're already here. Remember where the bookcase is, right? He'll work on that. Right where we left it. ¿Qué es esto? A secret passage. Right under our noses this whole time. I trust you have a flashlight. Be careful on those stairs. I have to say, I was half expecting a chupacabra to jump out and drain your blood. This is a relief. Anything on the desk? Dan, you said you were going to sleep. Thanks for the 500 stars. A white neckerchief. This looks just like the one Raul was wearing in the photo. <sighs> okay, now what? Oh, it was. Jesus. on I inspected the items <laughs> well, I, I did. Alright, got the stuff off the desk. Do I need to have the flashlight on when I go down the stairs? Oh, hey, nothing. Let's just go run around and see if it does anything. Time is it? Oh, 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 oh. This explains a lot. I've been the 
older brother myself, and I dread to think what my sisters had written about me in their diaries. But it bled over into politics for Javier and Raul. In the middle of a civil war. And then Javier took the gun, and when we found it, there was still blood on the stock. And Raul's things are here. And they must have had another altercation. One that didn't end well for Raul. I still can't believe it. My bisabuelo was a bit weird, but doing this to his own brother? It makes me second guess our whole relationship. It's a lot. I think he wanted us to find this. Not just so we'd know the truth, but to show us that he did love his brother. Despite everything. It just hurts me knowing that he took a secret. Emotional damage! Damn. Quit it. Hey, uh, listen. I owe you big time for helping us out with this. Thank you, really. You're welcome to stay on the ranch as long as you'd like. In the meantime, I'm going to do what I should have done ages ago and get in touch with my family. Let them know what you've discovered. Talk soon. Well, I think it's time to reset the map. That was the last mission. Alex, you, you quit one before the last mission. <laughs> I'm saying surely it was that easy you didn't stop doing it where's all the deer at I know there's another zone over there probably some more back in there but I can't see that far Just double check and make sure there's no more. I hope there is one. There is still more. Why? Oh, my dog read my mind. Oh, it's green wing teal, man. I like green wings. Quick, fast, and elusive. Everybody back home wants mallards all the time. I like shooting small geese. They're too easy. Hunters love the glass terrain with binoculars. But if you find yourself in denser cover, tracking's the way to go. Just make sure you keep your bearings. So that's his way of giving me racks, like the doctor always me. But I actually have a green wing teal mounted in my uncle's shed right now. Back where we all meet up to go hunting and stuff, so my two racks, nothing big for white tail. Then uh, I have green wing teal and my first pin ever pin tail I killed. Did you do a pintail and have the, the sprig, like, glue it on or something? Or dowel it on?
for there the deer zone there. I have any zones here. So that's bullshit because I know I'll have to kill deer. Maybe I got the wrong lake. Hold on. You have goose blinks? Yeah, have you tried any goose? Another zone was all the way up. Oh, 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 hello, hello. No white tail, but we got a uh, big horn. Oh, there's a white tail. Okay, I just got an objective complete. Hey, I hope you're keeping yourself busy. I just got off the phone with my mom. I told her about the changes we've been making here and what we found. Uh, and I apologize. Wrong zeroing. That's my chopper. fault. Well, there's a first time for everything. <laughs> I said I wasn't trying to stomp all over the ranch's history. And my family on board with me there's one thing javier and raul's story has taught me is that these kind of fuels are worth it whatever the reason but yeah now that that's done we're looking to the future and i wanted to ask you a favor i'm sure you've noticed the scaffolding above the entrance to the casa grande we repainted the entire thing recently but it still needs some finishing touches one thing that's been on my to-do list for ages is coming up with a more oh, yeah, search engine friendly name for this building. So prospective guests have an easier time finding us. La Casa Grande is fine, but it's a bit impersonal. Plus, <laughs> there's tons of them in this state alone. Well, my mom had a great idea. How's your handwriting? Perfect. <laughs> Not to worry. I asked my sister to drop by some stencils and paint while you were out hunting. She left them in the kitchen. Can you fetch them and head over to the archway at the Casa Grande's entrance? Why couldn't your sister do it? Oh, I won't spoil the name. You'll see soon enough. Go give me some water real quick. I'll be right back. All right, got my water. Head to the archway. Oh, they're in the kitchen. Casa Raul.
Hey, good morning, Stuart. How you doing, man? How's your morning going over in the UK? Stuart, thanks for the like, man. How you, how's your day starting off? What's your favorite animal in this game, Stuart? What do you what do you usually hunt? Big red deer guy for being over in the UK or hunt everything. Is on you. It's not going to be easy. And I expect we'll hit a few bumps on the way. But with my family backing me, I'm optimistic that we can turn around Rancho del Arroyo. Create a biosphere reserve that all the weird and wonderful creatures of the desert can thrive in. We owe it to the people who fought to make our land better. I'll leave you for now, but keep your eyes on your hunter mate. I'll contact you if there's more work to do. <laughs> I can't let you off the hook that easily. I don't know why I went this way. I know it's over here. I need to get some more ammo. more missions perfect so now we just need to go figure out more white tail are at so we'll go here and then we'll predators nice yeah I've been trying to do I might get a different map where I can do more predators so no white tail up here. There is white tail up here by this new one we're going to. So we'll just head up there real quick and do that. And I can also hit some more outposts. Go to my garage, the vehicle. I understood you, man. Oh, I'll definitely get Silver Ridge. I think Silver Ridge is my next one. I was thinking maybe like Yukon or Vahunga. I, I like how this game makes you like the world's strongest man and you just walk into the four wheeler and it just moves so easy. Like I'm Eddie Hall or Thor. What's on Silver Ridge? Can't remember. Well, it's Buffalo. Stronghorn, muleys. What else? Going in the wrong direction. I guess I'm finding some zones while I'm going in the wrong direction. Elk and turkey.
you do the, the Grand Slam on Turkey on this yet? I think there's just three, not four. Eastern Miraman and Rio. It's on this map. I forgot to put ammo on my 308. Dang it. But that was a that was a bobcat, so I wouldn't be able to shoot it in it. Oh, you know, Peyton. Should check your notifications real quick. Just completed a mission, so now I'm just running around. Trying to find more deer lakes and outposts. Um, 59. I just started March 1st, so. I've been, uh, pretty much just been playing this game. I think I have, well, I'll, I'll get on this road and there we go. Um, where am I going? Trying to figure out Codex, Hunter, Profile Card. Yeah, that's where I'm at now. If I keep doing my grind on my Whitetail, I could probably get it pretty good. I got a perk point, didn't know it. Hunting Profile. Yeah, I have eight diamonds so far. Longest vital is 404, so. Hopefully. I've only died five times and I've only played on a multiplayer three or four times. So. That's it. That's all I've done so far. Alright, let's try to run through this and get my stuff in my inventory. I left it in the dang storage. I didn't put it in my stuff, so hopefully we get some do her thanks for the follow man. Appreciate that so much. It's twenty two. No, twenty two is not good for Bobcat. Do Bobcat's attack. I have yet to figure that out. But you see how much I play though, Alex. Tell you the truth, if you do missions, you get a lot right off the bat. And then I think I may have around 500 whitetail underneath my belt. Before I started actually grinding. Well, what's my actual harvest? That might be totally incorrect. Where do I see that in Hunter? Uh, total animals, 
1,464, so give or take. <laughs> thing is, like, when I get off work, I sit around with family, and then when little man goes to bed, I get on here, except for my days off. I was supposed to be off today, but I had a, a softball game I canceled due to rain. And then uh, Wednesdays is hanging out with the family time, unless I decide to get on, which is, you usually don't. Why didn't I grab the four-wheeler? Or why aren't there, why isn't there any pheasants just running around? Why am I sweating? At least could be a pheasant out here or something, Jeez. Two water. I'm guessing this is a javelina zone. Nope, coyote. <laughs> what do you play on, uh, Stuart? You a console guy, or do you play on? On PC. I'm console, hoping to get. To Is it even the right time for Whitetail? Right at the end of it. Xbox, yep. It's, I don't want to get away from console, but every game now that I play is controller enabled on PC, except for this, but just the aiming seems so much easier on, on PC for this game. I wouldn't mind trying the classic either. They say it's more, uh, it's harder and more, uh, more of a simulation. Like if this didn't, this game tells you where they're going to be with the zones. The other one is all the animals just wander. Just out of wind. Well, you definitely should have just, uh, yeah, but I think it's easier to aim with the mouse and keyboard on PC. Actually, what is the white tail time? I think it's 11, so we got another hour left and we still haven't seen anything at the On A.A. Ron's spreadsheet, this has a circle around this lake, so I don't know if the, his stuff needs updated. Or what? <laughs> oh. 
I mean, my, I think my accuracy would be up way more if I was on peace. Dude, this is turning into my latent night. Not finding anything. I got the main link by the Hacienda. Hacita. But. Can't. I don't know if they did it just because it's so close to the outpost. It's not going to spawn very much here, but there's at the one by the Hacienda or Casa Raul. Yeah, I mean, I got a, I got an hour, of, got 50 minutes left. I mean, if they're leaving the zones hour to 50 minutes early, that's something that needs to be addressed, but right, I'm running, I'm not even getting any warning things from any animals which doesn't matter, I don't have a ammo but I could at least spot a drink zone and come back Well, I need to hurry up and get over here. And maybe back out and reset the map and or reset the time. Back out, reset the map, and look again. Rabbits. Oh, this is a deer. Okay. Okay, that's what we need. Biggins, so far. Oh. 154 to 187 pound deer, so they're one below the max weight estimate. If I had a good photo editing thing, I would make my own maps. Call me again so I can pinpoint you. Azka? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Thanks for the like, man. How you doing tonight? Or morning? It is three minutes till midnight here where I'm at, so. Probably should wrap up here pretty soon. I guess I can give you guys... I don't think I have any new trophies, though. So I can give you a tour of my little itty bitty. I'm too picky on spending my money, so I don't have very many trophies in my lodge. So that's one reason why I don't have very many. Mainly just rares in my white tails and my two stags. Why did I click there? I guess I was just looking at this like I thought there was a. Well, why are we running if I can't get ammo? 
we are finding the zones, I guess. They're just leaving early. 1025. No warnings or anything. 187. What's this other one? Let's go. Oh, let's, uh... Let's just go to this tent. Sleep and then go back. Come back out and come back in to see if we can get anything to, to end the stream. But I don't want to bust these zones, so I might not be able to even shoot anything. If it's a diamond or a... The GO. I'll shoot it. That's the least amount of money we've had in a while. I don't think I'm far enough. Won't hurt. This way. Sometimes I don't think the continue game works. I go to a different map and then back back in.
Guess it didn't work. Corn leaves. Set the time to double an hour early or later. This is a worse spot. Okay. I shot a hole right there, and the tent is. This is bust. We're going to take it down to. Um. We'll click this gone for the thank you guys. 
going out. Thanks for all the star follows and thanks. And most of all, thanks for the help me get my content out there. Here and we'll. All my diamonds terrain would be except, but if you find yourself in denser cover, tracking's the way to go. Except make we'll sure forgot the tax. Michael move that tin. Oh, we can hear better. But I don't, I'm gonna blow up so if I can. We'll just head back this down close. <laughs> Move it down closer towards the blind. And we'll be done for the night. Wish there was a way to get rid of that camera stuff. And actually, we'll go to that other tent over there and actually see if we can sit down and get in that blind. Forgot there's a maid stand. But they're on the other side of the tree. Addicted and get off this game.
Let's just call it a night right there. I'm not going to be able to get a shot through the trees. So you guys have a good night. I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Uh, take a quick look at this lodge for the people that haven't seen it. So I believe this one was the troll. This one was the troll. My first ever red deer on Fernando. Level 9. Next deer to level 9. Diamond. Don't know why I did that, but I got that black and gold. I think this was my first deer. No, can't be. Where I did my first year, but I got attacked. So we got piebald duck. One of my first gold ducks. Another gold duck. Another piebald. Another blonde female, or my blonde female. My melanistic male. My diamond duck. And a piebald. My first rare albino. Then we got another diamond duck. My biggest move right now. Here's my latest diamond white tail. Then my first three. And number five got, uh, didn't get taxed. I got excited and got other deer and actually collected them. So I lost a bunch of stuff. Here's my biggest uh, rose tail. That's it. That's all I got in my stuff so far. But this room is coming along good. Still got a lot. To, got one, four, all ones to fill in. And then this. And then I might just go back, back out to the front hall for a quicker tour of all my other stuff I get. But the red deer are out here for now. So. I think my next diamond's gonna go right there. So I don't have anything in place. You guys have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.